Evening. Thanks for joining us. We begin with an update on the breaking news we've been following out of Anderson County. A double shooting at a gas station still under investigation there. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson following this story. She has the latest. We do know one of the victims has been arrested for that shooting this afternoon. While there are many questions, investigators are still combing through all the evidence in this case. You have a shooting in a public area, very public area, like a gas station with people just trying to pump gas, grab a Gatorade and go, and you have this happen, it, it does cause a disturbance. That's what unfolded in the parking lot of Stop a Minute Gas Station and Convenience Store on Abbeville Highway on Monday afternoon. And I heard about, I probably heard about eight gunshots, and I found out it was a friend of mine's uh, boyfriend. According to the Anderson County Sheriff's Office, multiple shots were fired. So there were multiple people involved who were shooting at the time, but then only two people that we know of that were shot. Both were taken to the hospital. Now we can say that one of those victims was actually arrested and taken into custody. These two victims, both of them, have non-life-threatening injuries. So that part is good, but all the people that were involved in the shooting, they they are in one group. This poses bigger concerns for people like Gay Stanley. They always play with guns out here, and that's how you wind up dying, you know? Guns ain't really nothing to play with. Yeah, it's very common around here. 7 News has reported on shootings in this same area in the past, one of which Stanley remembers well. On Father's Day, a friend of mine named Shane Ware got killed over here. I guess like a drug infested area, so sometimes they say it's gang affiliated, but it's not gang affiliated. It's just like different ones doing different turf things, I guess. In regards to this case. Right now we can't confirm if it's gang activity or not, and we are definitely looking into that. Investigators are still working to get to the bottom of it all. This was not a random shooting, you know, where, where random victims were hit. This is this is a group where they all know each other and something that our deputies can focus on and will focus on in the future. A spokesperson with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office tells me investigators still have a lot of work ahead of them, including finding a motive. In Anderson County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Anderson County Sheriff's Office spokesperson says violence in that area has at least begun to slow recently.